so Lisa, thank you for being here. I have known this woman for about 20 plus years and she's an amazing woman. Uh, you have overcome so many challenges in your life, always with amazing grit and humor, always with a smile on your face. And I just want to thank you for being with us today. So happy to have you on our Women in Real Estate series. Thank you. <clears throat> so you haven't always been in real estate. Actually, you've only been in the business for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit <laughs> about your background and what led you into getting into this business. So my background is that I ended up in Sun Valley, Idaho, because I used to be a corporate flight attendant. And I flew here with the Allen and Company every single summer for the big summit that they have with all of the big wigs of the entire world. And I'd come here about seven years in a row. And I really grew to love this place. And one thing led to the next and I moved here. And so I quit my flight attendant job, which was a bummer because I traveled the world and it was super fun. If anybody ever wants to talk about that, that's, that was a fun time in my life. And I moved from New York city to Idaho <laughs> and <laughs> I ended up getting into the restaurant business. Um, I'd been in the service industry my whole life. And after 18 years of that, um, the rug kind of got pulled out for me a little bit. And that's the, the dark days of my life. And I knew that I needed to make a change. I knew I needed to support myself and my daughter and, I had been encouraged to go to real estate school and I was so intimidated by doing that because I think when you're, you know, I mean, I'm going to be 52 years old pretty soon and I haven't really used my brain in many, many years, like going to school and testing. And I, I will admit that the real estate school was no joke. Like I thought any Yahoo could get their real estate license. And I was like, oh my God, it's so hard. And I mean, I, I'd studied for a week straight and, um, and I did it, you know, and I'm, I'm very grateful that I did it because I do feel like I've taken control of my life again. And I'm happy about that. I love that. And yeah, it, that's wonderful. So um, we watched uh, last week, we had our little luncheon and we watched the Cowell Banker What Moves Her series last week about unapologetically promoting yourself as a woman in real estate. And research has shown that women are less likely to promote themselves effectively compared to their male counterparts. You had amazing success in your very first year doing over 5 million in sales. How do you unapologetically promote yourself and what do you attribute your great success to in your first year? Well, I think, I think that I attribute my success to um, living in a small town and having people like you and trust you. To begin with so you're not trying to earn anybody's trust people know you um and i have a good reputation and and i think people wanted to see me thrive and get myself back on my feet so i felt that was a, a big factor for that and um i always try to just be super grateful for everything i don't take it for granted and i don't expect it. And when good things come my way, I'm always just uh, very grateful for it. And I think when you're um, not completely business driven, you know, it's not just all about money when it's about relationships and about people and making those connections. I think people could feel that and they know the difference between um, some realtors are just all business. You know, when they meet with you, they're all business where I've met with people that have had rough times and I sat there and cried with them. Um, I've helped them do personal things that most realtors wouldn't do just, just because they needed help. And I think, I think that's um, been a big factor in my life. And then where it comes to promoting myself, I, I do struggle with that because I don't want to be overwhelming to people. And then they're like, ah, she's just doing this or pushing herself. So I always do feel a little bit like I don't want to be too pushy and I don't want to annoy people. And so I try to promote myself in kind of a, a gentle, kind or funny manner. I love that. And that, that uh, leads me to say, I want to speak about your heart and how your clients feel your heart from you and how, just like you said, you go out of your way to help them. Um, so what, what drives you to do that? And what have some of your clients said to you about your heart in transactions or in your dealings with them? 
Well, I think that what drives me is um, when, when you have gone through really rough things in your life and, and, you know, you know, some people that don't have a lot of trauma in their lives and you think, oh, lucky them, you know, or I've had a lot of trauma in my life and I've had a lot of rough times. And I think that gives you a lot of empathy and I feel other people's feelings. And when I'm talking to somebody, I want to know about them and ask about their lives. You know, I, I got a listing not long ago from a woman who, um, it was a referral and she was interviewing about four other uh, realtors in town that are, that have been around for 15, 20 years, real pros, and then me, the new girl. And, <laughs> um, and she chose me because before I met her, I read her husband's obituary. And so when I went to meet, because he had passed away in like the last six months, and, and I told her that I read his obituary and, you know, what a great man. And I'm so sorry for her loss. And uh, we cried together and we just had this great conversation. And she told me that um, she said, your heart comes out in your words. And she said, <laughs> I feel like I trust you and I feel like you're a friend. And that just meant so much to me that it wasn't just business. And she said that the other four realtors that she had met, that some of them are very successful in our town. And she said she felt like she was in a business meeting. And when she met with me, she felt like she was meeting with a friend. And she chose oh, me. That's so awesome, that's Lisa. I love that story. Thank you for sharing that. It's really amazing. It's about connecting. It's about building those relationships. And you, I, I attribute that so much to your success. So as a woman and a single mother, how do you balance your life? Your, you know, you work so diligently at your business. How, how do you balance your family and your personal life and your parenting? Well, well it's been a struggle to be honest with you. I haven't done the best job of that. Um, my fiance and my daughter have both had, you know, meltdowns and you know, you work too much. You don't take time for yourself. You don't take time for us. We never do anything. You're always on your phone. You're always on your computer. So as of very recently, I realized that this is a problem. And if I learned anything from uh, Todd and Shannon is that you have to balance your family. You have to spend time with your family. And I'm learning about boundaries. And I even, Heidi, you commented on my voicemail message that <laughs> I put on setting boundaries that after 6 p.m., if it's not an emergency, um, we'll talk about this in the morning, you know, just trying to have like my dinner times and, you know, even, you know, during slow times of weekends that, uh, I need to spend time for myself, my family, and I'm, I'm setting boundaries and trying to be better about that. That's awesome, Lise. So, um, you were with another brokerage for the first year of your real estate career. And um, you've been with us for about five months almost. So how has the transition been? And um, how are you using CBDP and all of our resources and, and um, what we're offering to support you? How has that transition been for you? I think the transition in the beginning, um, it was a smart time for me to do the transition because it was kind of a quiet time. I couldn't imagine trans transitioning from one company to the next if you had 20 things on your plate. I think it would be very stressful. Sure. Um, and learning anything new is always hard. It's always intimidating. And, you know, like my mother always said, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And, <laughs> but, and so once I got into Coldwell Banker and learning the systems. At first, Heidi, you'll remember that I was really overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, not only do I have to keep my form simplicity in order, I've got to, now I've got to upload and I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And at first I felt very overwhelmed by it. And luckily you and Whitney were so kind to help me do all that. But now that I know the system, I understand the system, I love the system and it's so intuitive and helpful. And I love that I can just go in there and see what I need to do, what hasn't been done. And, and it really is like a great way to keep track of things. And I, I love it. And it's a, it's, it's been great. Well, we are so blessed to have you in our office and in our organization. You're a wonderful woman. And again, I thank you so much for joining us today, Lisa. Thank you. Um, really appreciate you. And I I'm think really Carrie has a couple photos to bring up with you and your cute family. So thanks again. Have a wonderful uh -oh. day. <laughs>